Hello everyone, my name is Janika and I am an expat from Finland living in the Netherlands but I am currently in Finland visiting some family and friends and we are now in the car with my mom and my mom's foster dog Talia and we are just gonna start driving to our summer cottage and yeah it's about a one hour drive here from Helsinki so it's not very far away we have arrived to our destination. If you have watched my previous vlog from Finland, so I was visiting here also in the winter time and in that vlog we were staying in this cottage over here, but this time we're gonna be in the other cottage. So if you're interested in seeing what this cottage looks like from the inside and also what this place in general looks like in the winter time, you should check out the vlog that I filmed in the winter time when I was visiting. I'll link it up here. And yeah, we're gonna unpack the car and then I'll give you guys a tour of the other cottage. If you've seen the previous one, it is very similar to this one. Like the interior is a little bit different and this one where we are now is slightly smaller than this cottage. But yeah, I'll show you guys around. So here's a small tour of the place. Here is the bathroom, looks the same as in the other cottage. And then also this is the same as in the other cottage. So there's a shower room and a sauna. Then we have the kitchen and there is an upstairs. Let's have a quick peek upstairs. Um, the upstairs here is slightly smaller than the other one, but basically we have a bunch of beds here. So let's go back down. Don't mind the sheets drying here, but here, this area is slightly smaller than the other cottage, but otherwise it's quite the same. The interior is a bit different, but yeah. And there's my mom now, but there's the bedroom. And then in here we have another bedroom. So. There's a lot of sleeping space, at least. There's also a fireplace. There's Talia. Yeah, it's very nice. It's located in a place where there's a bunch of these cottages and these are like in between ski slopes. So these are actually like a bit like skiing cottages, but it's very nice to visit also in the summertime. There's a beach and a lot of nature around. So yeah, I love being here. This is the view from our other cottage and I love it so much. It's one of my favorite views in the world. So beautiful. I think now next we are gonna go to a big supermarket because we have no food here and we're gonna buy some well, yeah, food <laughs> that we need. Tomorrow I think we're gonna have a barbecue and tonight I think we're having a pizza night. Just in general, I love visiting the supermarkets here in Finland because I do think the supermarkets here are like top tier. I love the Netherlands, but the supermarkets are not as good as here, I think. Here we have much bigger and better selection on everything. And I think we're going to a bit of a bigger one, if I'm not mistaken, so I don't know. <laughs> I find it very fun and exciting. So we're back from the supermarket and I felt like I wanted to buy everything when I was there. I tried to not to do that, trying to think a bit ahead and already try and pack everything, but I don't know how I'm gonna fit everything home. But I bought really random stuff, like I bought things like this. Uh, this is like a hard, thin bread thing that we eat in Finland. It's so good. And I had some of these when I was visiting my grandma some days ago and Oh man, I had forgotten how much I love them. And I also bought things like pea soup. I bought some very random stuff and now I need to try and make it all fit. I also bought some things for friends, 
some Finnish friends living in the Netherlands. Tomorrow I still want to buy like some bread, like some rye bread and stuff. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Oh. Maybe it would be smart because I also bought like some sauces. If I take them out of the package, then they would take much less space actually. I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm sure every expat knows this feeling when visiting their own home country. <laughs> Bringing home a bunch of food. I just had a friend, she went to visit her home country in Peru and she told me she bought an extra suitcase to bring things home. So that's even more extreme than for me, but obviously um, for her it's maybe more difficult to get home, so I get it. Taro, if you're watching this, I got your Yuhla Mokka coffee. <laughs> and they had a pick and mix candy on sale, so I bought a huge bag. I will have candy for a while now. And then I bought a bunch of chocolates. It's not all for me, but yeah, <laughs> there's a few. dog Titta nu på den Currently we are out for an evening walk and there's a nice evening sun that's shining we're actually walking here by the ski slopes and can you believe it, over there, there's actually some snow. It hasn't melted yet, even though it's like almost 30 degrees today, for example. But yeah, we still have some snow here. It's a little bit different here now in the summertime than what it does in the winter. starting this day by making some banana pancakes for breakfast. some banana pancakes for breakfast and we seem to have a very blueberry theme we have blueberry juice and then we have fresh blueberries and then we have this blueberry like yogurt vanilla thing that we will put on top of the pancakes so yeah if it would have been blueberry pancakes <laughs> it would have all been blueberry it's almost. But yeah. almost yeah <laughs> just arrived to the beach it's a nice little place uh, here by the beach there's also like a, like a camping area and people have their boats here and over there there's like a grill where they also have like karaoke in the evenings and there's a little shop and that kind of stuff so yeah it's really nice there seems to be a bunch of jumping castles here um, apparently it was here already last summer 
but I wasn't visiting last summer, so this is the first time that I'm seeing it. And yeah, I, I think it does cost something, but apparently there's a bunch of jumping castles here now, so <laughs> that's very random. And there in the water, there's also like some kind of place where you can play in the waters. And you can also rent a sub board and water scooters and yeah, there's a lot over here. So usually each summer I come here to Messila and Finland during midsummer, which is in a week. But unfortunately I am not gonna be here then. Uh, this time I had to visit Finland like a week earlier. I wanted to fly here for midsummer. Flights were really, really expensive. It was like 350 euros back and forth from the Netherlands. And it's never that expensive. It's usually like around 150 euros or something. And now when I came one week earlier, it was 200 euros. So it was a 150 euro difference, which is quite a lot especially at the moment when I'm trying to save up some money for some travels. But usually we're here at the cottage for midsummer and then here at the beach. They will have like a huge bonfire and there's like people partying here and it's really nice. It's usually been a tradition that me and my friends come here and celebrate midsummer together. And I wish we could have done that this year, but it's a bit too much money, 350 euros for flights to Finland. But I am happy that I could come and visit at least now. And yeah, hopefully some other year I could come here again for midsummer, I'm sure. And then I could bring you guys along and show you what a Finnish midsummer is like, because here it's one of the biggest like celebrations and holidays. And here is my mom. We're just about to go. <laughs> We're just about to go and have a dip in the lake. Let's see if the water is cold or not. Do you think it's cold? Um, I don't think it's so cold. No? <laughs> okay, no. well, let's well, go. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's go and try it out. It's funny because it's like dry hair here, <laughs> wet hair here. But the swimming was really nice. The water wasn't cold at all actually. And we have the sauna warm up in the cottage. So after this we'll be jumping in the sauna directly. Not that it's not even that cold, but still. It will be nice and relaxing. we're gonna play a very Finnish game. It's called Mölkku. So how you play this game is that you have those numbers and then you have this wooden stick <laughs> that you throw. Point is to get 50 points and if you drop one of these points you get the point that it says on the thing but if you drop two for example then you only get two points and now in the beginning they're all very close to each other but eventually they will start to scatter. But yeah it's a quite a fun uh, Finnish summer game to play. Italia is here too. Do you want to play Merku? No! Okay, that was my own fair. No, no, no. Casta bara. Tonight we need to go early to bed. I'm already in my pajamas and it's not even or oh, it's a little bit past 10 p.m. because tomorrow I need To, or all of us need to wake up at 4.30 in the morning because yeah I have a flight very early so need to go early to bed let's hope I would be able to get at least some sleep so see you guys tomorrow morning when I am probably very very tired Good morning it is at the moment like 4 30 in the morning and as it is summertime in finland that means that the sun is shining already um, i was hoping to get like a sunrise photo but it's already quite past sunrise actually <laughs> to be honest it has apparently already risen like an hour ago 
so I missed it a little bit, but oh well, it's still very beautiful. But yeah, I'm afraid this is my last morning in Finland. It's a beautiful goodbye, but I'm a bit sad. It is time to start heading to the airport and fly back home. It's always a bit of a weird feeling to fly home from home. to the airport said goodbye to my mom which is always a bit sad but luckily she's coming to visit me to the Netherlands just within like two weeks so that's really fun just like on my flight to Finland we are again flying with one of these huge airplanes which is great the flight will go very fast watching a movie or something landed back in the Netherlands so I'm gonna end this video here I hope you have enjoyed it and also my other vlogs from Finland if you did enjoy it remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to also see future videos and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next adventure bye bye